Yo, Algebros, Professor Algebro here. Now, we're talking about imaginary numbers. This is an Algebra 2 concept, but if you're in Algebra 1, you can follow along. So, I'm going to introduce you to the letter I, okay? The square root of, of negative 1, we say it's imaginary because it's no real solution. So, we say that it is I, okay? Everything now, when you see me do the square root of 1, I'm going to replace it with I. So, first, right here, we have... The square root of negative 25. This breaks down into the square root of 25 times the square root of negative 1. I told you we're going to replace the square root of negative 1 with i, so this is going to be the square root of 25 is 5, the square root of negative 1 is 5i. Now, going along, now, what if we don't have a perfect square inside our square root? Well, we can handle this too. We're going to take the square root of negative 1 times the square root of 15. Now, that was replaced with i. So this is i square root of 15. Now, this one is a lot. If you've been following along with the videos that, that I've done with square roots, but I'm going to break this one down. I'm going to give you one more after this. So we have the square root of negative 45. So we're going to break this down into the square root of negative 1 times the square root of 9 times the square root of 5. Now, the way this goes, order says number, letter, radical. So square root of 9 is 3. Square root of negative 1 is i, square root of 5. Now, I know that was a lot to take in, and I know I'm fixing to erase. Thank goodness you have this on video that you can actually go back to it. So here we go. I'm going to give you a problem, and I want you to work it, okay? Now, pause the video. Those of y'all that are watching, the, the square root of negative 200. Okay, we're back. Now, what we're going to do, and I'm going to show you a little trick that, I, that I've that i taught kids, is that sometimes you look for, for the largest perfect square, but we're going to look and see 200 is uh, even. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, well, I'm going to divide 2 out of it. So remember we have the square root of negative 1, okay? When I divide 2 out, lo and behold, I get the square root of 100. Now remember, number, letter, radical. Square root of 100 is 10. Square root of negative 1 is i. Square root of 2. I don't normally do this, but I'm going to do this. No matter where you go, math is there. Later, dudes. Algebras, if you like what you saw, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Later.